Now, markets are reacting, of course, negatively to Fed Chair Powell's hawkish stance during the Jackson Hole remark, as you just heard. With the Dow ending the day down over 1,000 points. And technology was the hardest hit sector. The major averages now, by the way, down over 4% for the week. And now the question for investors is, what happens to stocks if and when rates stabilize? So let's talk that with Simeon Hyman. He's the global investment strategist at ProShares Advisors. Simeon, I mean, you're here with us in studio. You've kind of watched the day play out. What was it about the price action today, especially in the last maybe hour, hour and a half or so of trading that really struck you? You just said something very important just a couple of minutes ago. Nothing happened in the bond market today. This was about a wake up call for the equity market because rates have already been moving for over a month now. The yield on the 10 year Treasury has already gone up more than 50 basis points. And so it was, in effect, the stock market catching up to that. But I think what's important about that rate move is I would call it kind of a regular one. And I want to distinguish that from a quantitative tightening sort of new school move in, in rates. And what I mean by that is it was really driven by a slightly overheated economy. I'm going to go old school. Capacity utilization went past 80. That's the old rule. Capacity utilization goes past 80. You have some inflation. And when you, what you see in the equity markets is the regular outperformance of things that typically outperform when rates rise. Energy, materials, even a little bit of financials in the last month. What was curious about what's happened today, as opposed to, say, other times in the past where recession fears have been playing out, is this notion that we have a market that's trying to figure out whether or not we're actually in a recession or not, right? There's been this huge debate about whether this is going to be, when everything is said and done, a National Bureau of Economic Research officially sanctioned recession. In your mind, does the equity market feel as though we are not in a recession right now? And if we do have a recession, true to what Powell said, that he would battle inflation, and if we go into recession, so be it, is that the reason why stocks fell as much as they did today? I don't think it's so much a, a fear of a deep recession as much as it is just a little bit of a catch up to the fact that interest rates are normalizing and segments of the market that have been thriving off of zero rates are not going to be quite valued the same. You know, the risk of recession is a, a deep recession, I think, is still relatively low, a, a mild recession or whatever we're having right now. But you know, we know the job market's very strong. But also, if you think about the things that could cause a deep recession, you know, we don't have unions like we had in the 70s. So sticky wages, if we cross our fingers, might not be as big of a deal. And I'll throw one more thing out. You know, we could have a little bit of a boost, at least domestically, from almost a little smidgen of like a post-World War II impetus, because Europe's in such disarray from from. Well, from from the, sadly the war itself, but also, of course, the sky high price of, of of natural gas and other natural resources, we could have a little bit of a of a domestic opportunity here. You, you brought up valuations and speaking of that opportunity. Right. The interest rate story plays importantly into the valuation story, which plays importantly into the repricings, perhaps, that we're seeing taking place in real time right now. In your mind. Is the market for stocks right now, from a macro index level basis, appropriately valued given the interest rate outlook and inflation outlook over the next one, three, and five years? I think the answer is yes, but as an old mentor of mine used to say, if it's right on average, that's like having one hand in boiling water and another hand in a bucket of ice. And so what does that mean? But yes, if we're trading at 17 times 2022, with interest rates at this level, 20 times is fair. So the market's pricing in a little bit of a miss. We haven't had a miss yet. But when, I, when you think about that sort of dichotomy, there's two places of the market that are risk. Of course, we know that, that stocks where the revenues are so far out in the future are a little bit more sensitive. But I think one place that some folks are getting it wrong is thinking that it's safe to be on the really cheap side. And the problem with the really cheap side is you say, well, that's low duration. Except what you really mean is no growth. And if there's no growth, then you're a fixed coupon bond and you're really exposed to rising rates. The thing in the middle are quality stocks 
that can increase their margins. As an example, the S&P 500 dividend aristocrats expanded their margins in Q1 and Q2. So either one of those extremes, you know, the, I, the hand in the fire and the hand in the ice are perhaps at risk. But if you can keep up with inflation and keep your margins, that may be a place that's a, an attractive place in the equity market. Interesting thoughts for sure. Simeon Hyman, ProShares, thank you very much. We appreciate it. Sir. Thank you.